Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a internet browser on your Google TV. So first thing we'll need to do is get our remote and navigate across to apps. And then you can use the search bar if you want and you can just search web browser or internet browser and it will give you a fair few options in there. But if you just come across to tools, so the web browser I usually use is this one called TV browser, but we also have this one here called web browser, which I'll quickly show you as well. When you first click on it, it's gonna ask you to install it, um, which will just be an install button like this here, but because I've already installed it, it won't show me that. So you just wanna click on the web browser you want and hit install. And then once it's installed, you can open up the app. And this is what this web browser app looks like. So if you come across to search, this is where you'll put the web URL in and you can also use incognito mode. So if you don't want any of your search history tracked, you can use that. Down here you have um, your history and you've got a few popular apps and then you've also got a bunch of popular websites that you can quickly navigate to as well. But for me, I don't really like the interface on this one. It's not as clean as the other one but this does have one feature that is better than using the other web browser. So if you just click on search, so if you wanted to go to a website, you just click on this search bar and you'll write your web URL in there. But the feature I just wanted to show you is this desktop mode. So you can see here, it's got like a computer desktop screen. And then if you click on that, it will change it to a mobile phone which will change your browser to sort of a mobile phone view. So it'll be like the same experience you get when you're browsing the internet on your mobile phone. But sometimes that can cut off certain things on websites. So it's nice to have this desktop mode to give you sort of the full desktop experience when you're browsing the internet. But if we just hit the back button, that'll take us to the home page of this app. But if we hit the home button, it'll take us back out into our apps. And we'll just go back to tools and we have TV browser, which is the one I usually use. So you can see here, the interface is a lot cleaner. So up the top here, we have where you would type your URL. So your website, but you can also come across here and you can use a Google search by clicking here. You could go to YouTube and then they have a bunch of popular websites you can quickly navigate to. And if you come up the top here, you can save any websites as a bookmark so you can easily find them later. And you can look at your history so you can also navigate back to web pages you have been on using the history. And then ninja mode is the same as incognito mode so it just won't track your search history and stuff like that. So usually when I'm using this web browser, I like to use the Google search. So if you just click on that, it pretty much just opens up a Google web page, and then you can use your mouse to slide up and down, click the middle button for enter, and then you can type in whatever you want to Google search. So I find when you're typing it in, I can't actually get up there and click on the like suggested text. So you have to sort of write the full name in, which can be a little bit annoying. So I just write Facebook, for example, and then it will bring up a Google search and you can use this to navigate around and find what page you wanna to go to. And then you can click on that to go to your website. And if you hit the back button once, it'll bring up this screen here where you can either search for a different website, you can save this website as a bookmark, you can zoom in and out and you can refresh the page or you can go back to the home screen. So yeah, and if you want to get out of this app, you just hit the home button on your remote and it will take you back to your Google TV. Now, if you want to add your web browser to your apps so it's easier to find, you just come down to your apps, navigate all the way to the end click see all and then you can get your browser if you click and hold on it and go move and then you can move your browser up in the list so you can find it a bit easier so now you can see it's moved it right to the front so if it's something you use all the time if you go back to for you you can see it's right here at the very beginning of all your apps so you can quickly click on it whenever you need so that's pretty much it for this video. If you wanna learn how you can use your mobile phone as a remote for your Google TV, 
check out this video here. This is really handy when you are using these internet browsers because when you use your phone as a TV remote, it will actually bring up your phone's keyboard so you can type things in a lot easier instead of using your remote to click on each letter of the alphabet to spell it out. So go check out that video if you wanna learn how to use your phone as a TV remote. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.